David McClary here. I just want to talk to you a little bit about this capo. I know that it's, it's kind of odd looking for what we've seen before, but I have a whole drawer full of capos that, that don't work well. There was always an issue of when you put your capo on, the strings went sharp and some of them even pull you out of tune. Well, I grieved over that for a long time, a number of years. I've been playing a long time. And one day I just said, you know, there's got to be a way to fix this thing. So I just began to pray. I said, God, you know everything. You made every fiber of this metal Oh, there's got to be a way to make this thing work that doesn't throw you sharp and out of tune. So I began to work on it, and I looked at it, and I looked at it, and looked at it, and tried everything you could think of and, and couldn't figure it out. One day I was in the, one of my rooms in the house here, and I just began to plead with God. I said, God, show me how to fix this thing. You know, every time me and my partner, Charlie Cloud, would play down in Gatlinburg at the pottery, the, I'd put the cape on and I'd always be out of tune from Charlie. Nobody wants to be out of tune and nobody wants to hear you retuning your banjo every time you put the capo on. These capos uh, that I've developed are a must for the recording studio because folks just don't want to have to wait on us to retune. So I developed this, and I believe God showed me how to do it, and I appreciate it. It has changed the whole dimension of my banjo play. So I want to explain to you a little bit of how this thing works. Uh, it's made of 304 stainless steel. When you put this thing on, you line up the peak edge of this with your fret, however you want to play. The other uh, fret comes under this part of it, and when you tighten it down, you're tightening your strings down to your fret, not the fret board. So it can't push your strings to the fret board and cause your octave to go up. This Velcro on the bottom right here is to protect your instrument from damage, but also to keep your strings from moving sideways. When you put this on, if you're in tune, you tune up well, before you put this capo on, you're going to be in tune no matter where you put this capo on the neck. So i just give you a little idea. You just drop it on, tighten it up, Line it up with the peak of your fret and tighten it down. It's just that simple. Want to move it, loosen it up a little bit, pull it up to the peak of the fret. Of course, change your fifth string to where it's supposed to go. This is the most wonderful capo I've ever seen. Had I not invented this capo, I would buy it because I know that it'd be the last capo I'd ever have to buy. It works wonderful. I'm never out of tune with my partner.
my suggestion is that you buy this capo on my website at davidstonepro.com. davidstonepro.com. You will always 